Hello students. Now today as you see we will start a new chapter that is chapter 5 lines and angles. Okay so before we start with exercise 5.1 I need to say you something on lines and angles. Fine so what is a line? As you have studied in your junior class that a line has neither a starting nor an end point isn't it? This is what we have learned. So this is what line is all about. So this is how we represent the line. So line doesn't have any starting point nor it has any end point. Fine. So this is all about line. So this is a straight line, isn't it? So when and then what is an angle then? So any angle is formed when two lines intersect each other. That means like this. Suppose two lines are there. Okay. When two lines intersect intersect then angle is formed fine so this is angle okay now angle so this is an angle first thing so this is an angle and this is a line fine students so this is a line so this is line and this is an angle Fine. When two lines intersect somewhere, they form an angle. Okay. Now, angle is always represented. It is represented as this. <coughs> Excuse me, students. Represented as this. Okay. Now, this is all about lines and angles. So, in this chapter, We'll learn uh, some types of angles also. We'll discuss on some types of angles. So we'll start with complementary angle and supplementary angle. Okay, so let's let us first know that what is complementary and supplementary angles. Okay, so as I've written complementary and supplementary, so let us see what is complementary angle. Okay. Let's tell this students. Yes. Now, complementary angles are what? So, we'll define complementary angle as two angles are said to be complementary angle. angles sorry when their measures when their measures add up to or add to 90 degree that means sum of two angles that means first angle plus second angle that is two angles okay the sum of these two angles should be equals to 90 degrees okay so let us put this thing inside the box fine so this is first angle plus second angle should be equals to 90 now what about supplementary angles so two angles two angles are said to be said to be supplementary angles when their measures <coughs> when their measures Add to 180. Okay, so you see the difference. The sum of two angles is 90 degrees, so we say complementary angle, and when the sum of two angles is 180 degree, we say supplementary angles. So first angle plus second angle that would be equals to 180 degrees. 
Okay, so we'll just put it inside the box. Now, what is the use of this thing? Why have I written this thing? Now, suppose if any time in the question, one angle is given and another angle is asked for a supplementary angle. Suppose the question would be like this. What is the complement of 30 degree? Fine. So, suppose one given angle is what? 30 degree is given. Now, they have asked what is the complement of 30 degree. That means the second angle they are asking in case of complementary angle. So, the, with the given angle. Now, 90 degree, from 90 degree, you have to subtract the given angle, which is given as 30 degree. So, if you subtract 30 from 90, you will get the second angle. That means, the complement of 30 degree would be equals to 60 degree. Similarly, if I ask you, what is the complement of 50 degree? So, what I am asking? Indirectly, I am asking, what is the measure of the second angle then? Because the given angle is what? The first angle which I have given is what? 50 degree. So, I am asking what is the second angle then? If the first angle is 50 degree, what is the measure of second angle? So, the complementary of the 50 degree would be what? You have to subtract 50 degree from 90 degree. That's because complementary has been announced or said. Fine. So, 50 degree, my, uh, 50 degree need to be subtracted from 90 degree and you get the answer as 40 degree. So, the complement of 40, 50 degree is 40 degree. Okay, similarly, what is the supplementary of 100 degree, if they ask? So, the given angle, you will take it as a first angle. And what you have to find out? The second angle. So, what is the supplement of 100 degree? That means you have to subtract 100 from 100, 180 degree. Why? Because they have a supplement. What is the supplement of 100 and 100 degree? So, this time you have to subtract 100 from 180 degree. And the answer would be 80 degree. So the second angle is 80 degree. So the supplement of 100 degree is 80 degree. And this is this type of questions we will solve in exercise 5.1. So let's start question number one. So these are the there are three sums, but uh, I will only explain the first one and the last one of question number one. So in question number one, they have asked find the complement. Find the complement of this given angles. Fine. So it's very, very easy as I said that the given angle you will consider this as the first angle. And as you are unknown to the second angle, so we'll let that second angle be x. Okay, it's very easy, students. See? So the given angle is what? Given angle is 20 degree. And this given angle you will consider this as first angle. Okay. Now, we are unknown to the second angle, so we let that second angle be x, so let the second angle be x, isn't it? Now, as this, as the word complement is written, so according to the problem you will write, according to the problem, first angle plus second angle would be equal to 90 degree because these are the complementary angles and we have studied that the sum of two angle when when the sum of two angle is 90 degree they are said to be complementary angles fine so the first angle is already given that is a given angle we'll consider this as first angle that is 20 degree and second angle we have assumed as x 90 degree now to get the value of x we have to transpose this 20 degree towards right hand side so the x value will get as 90 degree minus 20 degree that would be equals to 70 degree okay so this is the required complement of 20 degree so if i say what is the complement of 20 degree then you will say complement of 20 degree is 70 degree okay similarly we'll do the third sum also that is a given angle given so what is a given angle 57 degree, isn't it? Now we'll consider this given angle as what? First angle, right? So we are not aware of the second angle then. So we have to let let the second angle be second angle be x, isn't it? Now again we'll write according to the problem or you can write according to the question also. ATQ, ATP, all are same. 
fine. ATP means according to the problem. If you write ATQ, it means according to the question. So first angle plus second angle will be equals to 90 degree only because we are finding the complement, isn't it? So when we are finding the complement, what is the first angle? We'll assume this given angle as first angle that is 57 degree. And second angle we have assumed as x and 90 degree. Now we'll transpose this towards this side. So x will be what? 90 degree minus 57 degree. Now if you subtract, what is the answer then? 33 degree. Okay. Very, very easy students. Very, very easy. Okay. I hope all of you have understood these two sums. Okay. Now let's move on to sum number two. Now this is question number two. Now in question number two, they have asked find the supplement. Now you know that the sum of two angle is 180 degree, isn't it? In the case of supplement angle. So again, I'm going to explain sum number one and three to you will practice on your own. Okay. So sum number one is given 105 degree. So we have to find the supplement of 105 degree. In this third question, it is given 154 degree. Very, very similar. You see. So what is the given angle? 105. So in place of given angle, see we are doing very similar to the first one. So we are just writing the given angle as 105 degree because it is already given. Now this given angle will consider this as first angle. Now we have to find the another angle, isn't it? Because we have to find the supplement of 105 degree. That means second angle we have to find out. So same way we will do it. Let the second angle be x. Then we'll write according to the problem. First angle plus second angle equals to, now this time we'll write 180 degree. Okay, not 90 degree because we are going to find out the supplement. We are finding the supplement. So in case of, in place of, First angle we'll write 105 degree. Second angle we have considered as x 180 degree. Now we'll take 105 towards this side, so it will be x equals to 180 degree minus 105 degree. So the value of x will be what? 75 degree. Very, very easy. Similarly, we'll do sum number 3 also. Now this time the given angle is 154 degree. And we'll consider this given angle as first angle as I said. Now we are not aware of the second angle. So we'll let the second angle be x. So we'll write the uh, equation from it. That is ATP first angle plus second angle would be equals to 180 degree. And why 180 degree students? Because we are finding the supplement. Fine, supplement of 154. So in place of first angle, we are going to write 154 degree we have assumed the second angle as x 180 degree now we'll take the 154 degree towards right hand side to get the value of x that is 180 degree minus 154 degree so if we subtract we get the answer as 26 degree students 26 degree okay so that's it for today i hope you have learned supplementary and supplementary so God bless you all, take care and stay blessed.